Dear friends, dear excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome you all here today. We may be physically spread out, but we are now all sitting around the same great virtual table. We are here to unleash the power of the plates. We are here to present an exciting array of solutions propositions sourced from around the world, aimed at shifting our consumption patterns. And we are here to discuss and debate these solutions, and importantly, to learn from each other. I know for a fact that we will not have agreement on everything, and that's absolutely okay. But allow me to insist on two things. First, let's treat each other with respect. Second, let's agree on some hard facts. A first fact is this. Unhealthy diets have become a leading cause of ill health and premature deaths around the world, and it's getting worse, not better, year by year. Even the COVID-19 pandemic is hitting people with obesity and diet-related conditions particularly hard. What do we mean by unhealthy diets? Well, they contain too much sugar, salt, saturated fats. They have too little vegetables, legumes, nuts, whole grains, and fruits. For an increasing number of people around the world, they contain too much meat while others aren't getting enough protein from animal and plant sources. A second fact is, we lose and waste a whopping one third of all the food we produce, costing well over a staggering one trillion US dollars every year. And this is happening on the very same planet where a staggering 820 million people go to bed hungry every day. And a third fact. The environmental impacts of our food systems, already disastrous in many parts of the world, will spiral out of control without a shift to healthier consumption patterns limiting global warming to below two degree and halting biodiversity loss is simply not possible without dietary shifts. So you see, our food consumption patterns can't be just this, an enormous problem. Let's turn it around and talk about how we can change the system so that our food consumption become a driver of good health for both people and planet, so that the three billion people who currently cannot afford a healthy diet can fulfill this basic human right. Let's debate the things that governments can and must and should do to enable and unlock the shifts we need. Let's talk about what food businesses can and should and must do and what we all can do to unleash the power of the plate to heal our bodies, to heal our world, our communities, and our planet, while we still have time, while we still have the chance. But let's not get stuck on details. Let's go to work now on what really matters, because there isn't any more time to waste this decade, the nine years we have left to 2030, is our very last chance. I now turn the floor over to our amazing, inspiring youth vice chair, Lana, to moderate the session. Lana, the floor is yours. <laughs> 